In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a VIP flow inside of your Klaviyo account for any e-commerce brand or any business that kind of sells online, right? Brought to you, of course, by your favorite online email marketer. Anyways, let's dive into it. I'm going to keep this tutorial super simple, how to set up the segments and also some content examples of how to actually, of what to actually put inside of the flow so you know that I practice what I preach, right? So first of all, this is just a demo account. Okay, don't judge me on this account. I don't actually get paid to manage this account. Uh, this is just a little side project I had for fun. So first of all, obviously you need to make sure your uh, merchant is integrated. So this, in this case, Shopify. And then you're gonna go to over to list and segments and you're gonna hit create a segment. Make sure to not create a list in this case because we need to create a VIP segment, right? So we're gonna call this uh, Plethora, which is my agency name, VIP segment. Okay, and then you can kind of do a few variations of this. It depends on the type of brand that you have. So rather than giving you like a bunch of like nuanced stuff, I'll just tell you the criteria, okay? If you have high average order value products, base it on product purchase frequency. If you have lower average order value products in general, then base it on your uh, total lifetime spend. Right. So how that works in practice is if you have a really high average order value product or just high average order value store in general, like 200, 150 dollars and above, generally speaking, you want to do is at least or sorry, is greater than one. So basically, this just means that they've placed multiple orders in over all time. So you want repeat customers. Right. So if they are if you're selling high average order value stuff, you want repeat customers to join your VIP. You don't really care necessarily about the um, amount spent just because you already have high average order value anyways, right? So, you know, you want to base it on order frequency. If you have a low average order value store, then you want to base it on the value. So again, you could put at least once over all time. Whereas if you have a lower average order value store, you want to base it on total lifetime spent right so in that case you want to go to over to revenue which make it like uh you know is greater than whatever that threshold for vip customers you want it to be generally speaking you want it to be around two to three x of your average order value so let's say you have a 30 dollar aov then you're going to want to between a 60 dollar spend requirement to a 90 dollar spend requirement it just depends on how sticky your product is offering is right so you want to put whatever number you want in here right and then let's say i put 40 and then you're going to want to hit create a segment so obviously there's not going to be anyone in the segment specifically but long story short you are going to create it based on one of those definitions I'm gonna sip some tea while the segment is being created and take some time to tell you guys about my agency services right because nobody sponsors this channel i don't take sponsorships anyways if you're a seven and eight figure brand watching this I don't know why you're trying to learn how to create a VIP flow. I'll be honest. It's such a shit leverage on your time. So if you're doing well in e-com already and have established product market fit, book in a call. We'd love to kill emails for you because we're really good. We've done over $30 million in revenue. I have over four years of experience. We work with a shit ton of seven, eight, multi-eight bigger brands. So yeah, just like book a call. It will be insightful for you regardless, just because I have so many, so much like experience to draw from in like different verticals of e-commerce as well. So yeah, hopefully we can speak back to the video. So once this segment is actually populated and created, you're gonna go to over, you're gonna go over to flows, right? And then you're gonna wanna hit create a flow. Once you hit create a flow, you definitely wanna be starting from scratch. I don't even think there's like a, oh, actually there is a VIP tagging thing, but like, don't worry about that. Um, you essentially wanna hit create from scratch and then you're gonna wanna put VIP uh, flow, let's say, right? Let's just call it that. And you're going to go to something like this, which basically, right? When selecting triggers, you want to hit all triggers and then you want to hit add it to a segment, VIP segment, boom. And in terms of flow filters, there's not really any flow filters. I've seen people use placed order zero times and starting this flow, but honestly, it's not really necessary unless you make the VIP flow a super long flow. There's no point in taking people out because VIPs, generally speaking, you want to carry on serving this like VIP message to them, right? So um, I wouldn't really use any flow filters in this case. So I just want to hit save, boom, confirm the change. 
and then with the new interface it's going to look something like this right if you have specific products that you need to filter out obviously you can do like the someone has or has not done option and then filter them out based on what they ordered but in general this is what you want to start with right and then in terms of the first thing you want to add is obviously an email i also like to add a time delay because how the segment works is right as soon as someone spends above that certain amount it's going to trigger a placed order metric and if you don't have a delay this email is going to be sent along the same time as them receiving like a customer thank you and also the order confirmation emails from Shopify, right? So you don't want to overwhelm someone. So I always like to set up a time delay of like one to three days for them to actually receive the first VIP email. And in terms of messaging, it's kind of simple. It's basically congratulations, welcome to the VIP segment. They already know they placed an order with you guys recently, right? So they know why you guys are treating them as a VIP. But long story short, the first email is going to be kind of like a welcome email for them joining the VIP segment. And then in terms of second, third, fourth, and fifth emails, it's going to generally be, be between a two to kind of like five day delay. The reason why there's such a variance there is because it depends on your delivery times, right? Like if you need to take a couple of days to actually um, process the order, then obviously have like a slightly longer delay. Um, it just depends, right? If you're warehousing in China, for example, and you're drop shipping the service, then again, you're going to want a slightly longer delay for VIP flows. But generally speaking, let's put like, I don't know, four days right here. And then you're going to then want to set up email too, right? So this is what like a super, super basic VIP flow actually looks like from a structural perspective. Now, let me show you what it looks like from a content perspective. So this is a super simple VIP flow that we actually did for one of our clients. Again, you can see like the messaging is not too complicated. They get in a custom VIP discount coupon uh, and then they're able to claim it and then the second email is just going to be adding some urgency to that this kind of structure works incredibly well but again this brand heavily discounts and runs a lot of offers top of funnel so their audience is generally quite price sensitive so if you're building a different type of brand it might not be ideal to for example offer like 60 percent off in the vip flow right so it just depends on your margins it depends on the type of brand that you are running as well which is again why if you're seven to eight figures already like you should really book in a call to consult me because i can give you guys like the play-by-play -play and also potentially take over email marketing and do a spectacular job this is a really easy demonstration of what like a two email vip sequence looks like but in terms of for the future right if you want to extend this i would recommend having longer term delays so that you are able to nurture the vip over a longer period of time and also if you want to retroactively target your past vips you can actually send it out as campaigns and then just put the best performing campaigns inside of this flow to actually extend your vip flow so hope this video helps you guys out if you're a bigger brand owner i hope to speak to you soon if not feel free to enjoy the value because i pump out a ton of free e-com source. So yeah, see you in the next one.